<clears throat> hey guys, so today I'm doing a hair review on um, Kinky Straight Hair that I actually purchased from AliExpress. This is my first time getting Kinky Straight Hair. At first, I was a little skeptical about the hair because I'm like, why would somebody want blow-dried hair when they, you know, like why would somebody want that type of texture hair? And as ignorant as that sounds, I'm pretty sure a lot of females said that. Like, why would somebody want that? That looks just, I mean, that's just my hair blow dried, you know? So um, I'm like, you know what? I'm getting a little bit tired. I usually just do wigs. Um, I make wigs and I wear that as my protective style. I don't really do sew-ins. I don't do sew-ins actually. So this is my first sew-in about five or six years. So um, I usually, oh, I always get my hair off of AliExpress. Um, a lot of people have been comment, commenting on how do they know what, which vendor to go to because they don't want to get their they don't want to get scammed because they feel like it's in China and you know they feel like they're not going to get their hair they're going to get bad hair honestly chi hair from AliExpress can be the same hair you get that you spend a hundred dollars a bundle on at a beauty supply store or at your friend Kiki's house that's selling those bundles that are so good can be the same exact hair from AliExpress just put that in your head and I know I'm gonna get some comments maybe uh, I probably will get some comments saying oh no blah 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 but honestly that's just my perspective hair is hair. anyways so yes you're gonna have your good experiences and yes you're gonna have your bad experience but that's just like any other hair you're gonna spend a hundred dollars on a bundle that's probably gonna be this thin or whatever etc it's probably gonna be the best hair but it's probably gonna be the thinnest bundles whatever I uh, as I don't like to spend um, hundreds of dollars on hair I think that's just insane I don't do that that's ridiculous if people want if a customer wants a custom made wig I have them supply the hair because I don't want to respond to be responsible like say if I do get bad hair from AliExpress or to them it doesn't seem like the type of hair they like um, I don't want to be responsible for that so I like I prefer them I not prefer they are the only they supply their hair I do not supply the hair when I make the wigs charisma hair products from AliExpress um, I read the reviews and the reviews said that um, most of the reviews that I've seen were saying that the bundles were the hair was very soft it was really good it had a little bit of smell and it had a, and the bundles were a little bit thin so this is just my own personal experience in my review I am not getting paid to make this review I am not being sponsored they did not give me free hair all of the products all of the hair from here on then are here on now I have purchased with my own money so so today I have this is um actually I actually have two bundles and I bought three bundles um I could only fit two bundles for this look and I wanted it really flat and seamless so I didn't stress I did double the wefts for one bundle but um you're gonna see in the video I'm sorry I'm just gonna say this right now that my video for this um of how I got this look is it detailed it's not a tutorial it's just how I did it the reason that it's not a tutorial and it's not detailed because I'm like I said I just this is the first sew-in in five to six years that I did on myself so for me even though I've done a few sew-ins in the past for me to try to teach other view to teach viewers or other people um, how to do a sew-in I think that's kind of like unfair because I'm still learning myself so this is how I do my sew-in this is my technique so if you have any tips or advice I would appreciate it but that's just how I like it now what I did was I got a net from Sally's and um, I always use a net because I just I also wash my hair pretty often probably like once a week or every or twice a week um, so I need to have a net or else my sewing also my braiding on, for me on myself when I braid my own hair it's not the best I still have to practice it's a little bit harder to do on myself but on somebody else not a problem my braiding pattern and everything is perfect I don't have a video of my braiding pattern I, I'm sorry I thought I put it on the on the computer but it actually I don't know if I deleted it or whatever so the braiding pattern I did was I just went straight back all the way back and kind of the leftover like the ends of the braids I connected it so it kind of does a zigzag in the back and it's just kind of like a U so I have this U part and then I have my edges and then my nape exposed because I do 
like ponytails. And I do want to start, put, I like to put my hair up because I do videos and um, just cleaning or getting around the house. I just like to be able to put my hair up and it looks so natural and flawless. So I like that look. Now onto the hair. Um, the hair is very soft. The customer service, I uh, don't know the name, but um, obviously Charisma Hair Products. The customer service was amazing because I actually had the I had put the wrong delivery because since I just moved to Colorado Springs, um, my address in AliExpress is still set to Florida. So I mistakenly thought that I fixed, I thought I fixed that, but I didn't. I thought about it and in my head I did it, but in real life I didn't, that type of thing. 14, eight, 14, 16, and I think an 18 inch, and the 18 inch bundle felt a little bit thinner, but this is a 14 inch. This is the the last bundle I didn't get to install. I'll probably install it in um, a wig or something, um, or just, you know, my next hair review, or if I wanna do this hair again, I'll just get two bundles next time. It's not really a kinky, kinky textured hair. It just feels like straight hair that was like curled and brushed out. Looks like, you know, curly hair, that's just been a little bit brushed out, like it has like a wavy pattern to it. It doesn't really have a kinky texture. Um, I also washed it this morning. Um, I installed, I was so excited that I installed it right away. And then I straightened it and I didn't like the way it looked straightened. So I washed it, blow dried it, and it reverted right back to its natural state. Um, so my experience is I probably, I would, why, if Would I buy from this vendor again? I probably would. I'm not really sure. Their prices were really good. I got three bundles for like $73, $74. This is why I love AliExpress because if I was trying to buy this from a vendor in America, I'd probably be spending $73 to $100 for one bundle. But um, you pay for, you get what you pay for. I can live with all the problems I have, with all the little specs and whatever. Um, I could live with that. I'm not really worried about that. I actually really like this hair, and it does blend with my natural hair really good. Um, I tried to make, you know, I'm still learning, so I tried to make my sew-in as flat as possible. Um, this little bump thingy, I'm still trying to fix. I'm still getting used to this. Um, but it, it looks very natural to me, I think. And in the back... I love how seamless and, you know, it looks very nice and seamless. I think for my first time in about five years doing my own sew-in, it's pretty good. Um, if you have your own opinion, that's fine. I don't care. But, <laughs> well, anyways, I'm, I'm also not good at cutting my own hair unless it's a wig. But I cut it blunt because I do want a blunt cut. And then I also like how much more full it looks. So this just makes it look a lot more healthier. Like I get my hair, my hair trimmed a lot, or my hair is up to upkeep and full and it's flowy. I really do like it. The heat protectant I use was Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Oil Heat Protection Spray. I got this from Sally's. I do really, really like this product because when I use it, it doesn't have an oily finish or a heavy finish to my hair. So that's what I use, but my rating for this hair would probably be like a four and a half, yeah, four stars, four out of five. The only thing I don't like is that how the hair feels really thin. Um, also that I feel like it's not really kinky, kinky hair. I feel like it's just like curly hair that's just been a little bit straightened or something. Um, but besides that, I would probably buy from this vendor again, mostly because of their prices. Um, the hair quality is pretty good as well, uh, very soft, I don't see any little cotton threads or anything, so I'll definitely put that link in below, so I want to appreciate everything for you viewing my video and liking, so you can like, comment, sur subscribe, and share. Hopefully this video helped you, and um, sorry for talking so much, but enjoy the rest of...
like to go Don't you feel that hunger? I've got so many secrets to show When I saw you on that stage I shivered with the look you gave Don't you hear that rhythm? Can you show me how we can escape? Trying to hide Trying to hide 